Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my water bearers, Aquarius. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Yes, today Mercury enters Taurus. I know that it is Tuesdays in some parts of the world. If it is Tuesday where you are, Mars enters Aries on today. But where I am, it is Monday. So Mercury enters Taurus on today. So what that means is that you're going to get rooted, more rooted and grounded and more logical in your thinking when it comes to very down to earth and realistic about uh, the things that you love, things that are beautiful to you, your creativity, your money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure. You're going to get a lot more serious and grounded and rooted and realistic about that. Let's get into your reading. I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, Venus, but anywhere in your chart. Step into that room in your spiritual house. Yes, Aquarius are open-minded humanitarians who are also very creative, very, very free-spirited, intellectual, very powerful sign, friendly, progressive unique. Yes. Mm, okay. Okay. Cards. Uh, very powerful sign. Very, very powerful sign. Was learning how to take your power back. There's a lot of emotion in your cards, Aquarius. So let's look at it. Let's take a look at it, right? We have the 10 of cups, the five of cups and knight of cups, right? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Some of you all may have cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. And so your intuition is extremely heightened, even though the moon is waning and we're moving towards, we're about 6.9 days away at the time of filming to, uh, away from the new moon, which means that the intensity of that full moon is waning, right? Plus we had the lunar eclipse. So those, that those emotions are waning, that passion is waning, right? But your intuition, like I said, something is telling somebody, and I don't want to take, I don't want to take up too much of your time, Aquarius, but this is how a lot of people see you. They really see you as the perfect person for them, right? The old you, Aquarius, would have, see, because this has many layers to it. The old you was kind of, remember how I always say you all are light years ahead, but a lot of you all will come back to try to fit in instead of leading the pack, right? Which can cause you to be depressed or sad like this, right? Because people don't understand your way of thinking. They don't understand your uniqueness. They don't understand um, just how your mind is, how you're wired, right? Which has caused a lot of you all. So a lot of you all have been light years ahead of your family members and the about the idea of marriage and family, right? Maybe you came from a family who felt like marriage consisted of going to a church or wasn't going to get a, a marriage license, going to a church, you know, getting married, man, wife, flower girl, ring bearer, the maid of honor, matron of honor groomsmen, bridesmaid, all of that, right? But something in you did not feel completely right about that. The white dress, the black tux, all of that. Like, because you marched to the beat of your own drum, Aquarius, you may have felt like if, that's even if you even believed in the institute of marriage, which is man-made. Um... Maybe you felt like getting married in a black dress or red dress or orange dress or whatever, because you're just different, right? And so now you're learning how to celebrate that. Some of you all never even wanted to get married, right? There was just the pressure of when are you getting married? You couldn't even go to a family function. You never bring a girl around or you never bring a guy around. When are you getting married? I don't see you with any kids. Just that pressure almost to a point again, making you depressed and sad, right? But upon further review <laughs> of looking at some of your family members, some of them have been so miserable. If you take the, if you take the blindfolds off and find the silver lining and look at your own peace of mind that you have, some of you all have been a peace of mind. That's why not saying, I'm not saying this is the reason why some of your relationships didn't work out. But it's kind of the reason why some of your relationships didn't work out because deep down inside, there was this pressure 
coming from some of you all's family. And again, only take what resonates with you. I'm not getting into a back and forth with anybody. So please save yourselves, save yourselves, right? Save your, save all of that. But again, to those of you who all there where it resonates, some people felt pressure from their family. Well, you know, we get married, we stay married forever. Even if the people are miserable, right? When you take off these blindfolds and realize, hey, that was just never my quote unquote thing. I'm good. I'm at peace. I wake up. I don't have children running around the house. You know, I'm not, you know, losing my mind, you know, with the spouse. I don't know whether they cheating on me or not or whatever. Whatever your thing is, Aquarius, that's where your internal peace. For some of you all, these two people are your divine masculine to your divine feminine and you are overseeing. You are, you are protecting your inner child, your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This right here could look like a same sex marriage with two kids. This right here could look like a same sex marriage where both of y'all are protecting your own inner child, children, right? This could look like a man or woman. It could look like, you know, woman and man, whatever it is, you are redefining your idea of peace, internal peace, right? So the sadness that you used to have, the number five right here, the sadness that you used to have, this pivotal point in your life is where this idea of everybody trying to plant these seeds. You know what? What I'm getting, the energy that I'm getting is that a lot of you all felt like an alien. You felt like you were in a, like you were a foreigner in your own family because something just did not feel right about the, their idea of marriage, Right. You had gay people in your family who were too afraid to come out because they didn't want to be ostracized from the family. You had straight people who wanted to marry outside of their race, outside of the person's skin color, right? And they, they didn't feel comfortable because of all the negativity they heard. You, Some of you all met, wanted to marry within your rape, but the person was you were attracted to, you know, extra tall people or extra short people, somebody who just looked different and you were afraid to bring them around. All of those years for somebody spent trying to fit into what was the definition of a normal family caused somebody to get depressed, right? So now that you are at peace with yourselves and this is you and you, this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine overseas, Defined feminine overseeing your little boy, a little girl inside of you. This is how people see you. People see you as, I mean, like gay people are attracted to you. Straight people are attracted to you. Tall, short, black, white. Everybody's attracted to you, Aquarius, because of this internal peace that you have. So when I tell you that the ball is in your court and you really have an advantage, that is an understatement, right? The, all of this energy right here is water, right? Water. In the past, because you're such a giver, Aquarius, you would have given these, you would have given everybody who came your way an opportunity, time to talk, all of those things. But the person you are today, you're vetting all energies. Guess what this is right here? Water. You put the water to the side, you're vetting all the energies coming your way. Because at this point where you are, you know you're the I know sign. You know what energies would come into your life and disrupt your peace? Why? Because you're vetting everybody. And the ones that may be able to slip through the crack, they may have gotten to level level five with you or level four or level whatever to you, with you. They are in a probationary period because you're not wasting your currency. Currency is time. You're not. I see a lot of you all booked and busy, lots of duties and responsibilities, because if you've been so enlightened along the way, you're not wasting your time. You're not bitter. Like I said, you're at peace. You've moved on from a lot of things that have served to try to harm you, including some family members and their way of thinking, whether some of them knew that whether they were hurting you or not with their whole mindset, you all are very clear about what you will and what you won't accept in your lives. But I'm telling you, so many people are attracted to your energy. Aquarius is not even funny. And see, back in the day, you may have been like, oh, my God, this is overwhelming. I mean, like, you know, people were getting upset with you because you couldn't make a decision about who you wanted to date. It was kind of a hard decision. Today, you are taking your time and you're just 
inhaling and exhaling. Okay, let me vet all the energies coming my way. So remember, it's not just the energy of people that's in, that's interested in you. It's also the energy of money. That's it. That's good. That's good money, bad money. That's all of it, right? Temperance card, right? So there's a warm flame around you and there's a warm fire up under you to go towards the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, your creativity, your money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure, Aquarius. So again, some of you all, like I said, had to leave the family members down in that black hole. Some of you all had to leave some people who you love deep, deep down in that black hole because they wanted you to be something that you were not right. They wanted you to be something that you were not. If some of your family members could have chosen your spouse for you and married you off, they would have because they thought they knew for, they knew what was better for you than they like, you didn't know what was best for you. Right? So again, somebody is at a higher frequency. Somebody is feeling quite angelic. Somebody is just feeling at peace because you're at your higher free, your highest frequency. So you're feeling a lot better. So leaving those people behind and, you know, so I'm telling you, somebody, people are looking at you like you are the perfect person for them. Like, oh my God, where have you been my whole life? Right. But where you are is like, I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not anxious to be in a relationship. I really need to vet you. If I give you serious con um, attention, I really need to vet you. I'm not leaving my throne, right? I'm not stepping off my throne, right? Some of you all may have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart. But again, there's been this fire up under you. Things are just crystal clear with you in terms of your money, in terms of your relationships, in terms of your time, just in terms of your energy, period. And you're not wasting it anymore, Aquarius. You're not wasting it anymore with anybody, right? So I see your business is doing very well. I see somebody being very booked and busy. I see you taking the time to say, I mean, when I really look at my life, it's not like I need somebody for money. It's not like I need somebody for really anything. So if you're coming into my life, you, it's how, you have to enhance it. I'm not wasting my energy like I did in the past. I felt like I may have wasted my energy in the past, but actually you didn't waste your energy, Aquarius, just so we're clear. You were learning things. The number 22. That's right. I am aligned. If this isn't perfect for you, I don't know what is. This is absolutely perfect for you because this alignment, you know, this, like I said before, this divine masculine to this divine feminine is not going to make you rush into a relationship or rush to the altar with somebody. It's not going to make you rush into a living situation with somebody because again, you're weighing things. Like for instance, you may, um, you may feel like I want to be in a romantic relationship with the person. That person may look exactly how you want them to look. And you sit down and you take your time. And you're like, but what's the rush to a point where the person may get frustrated where like, you know, you know, are we perfect together? You know, we want to get married or whatever. You may like get married for what? Like, what's the rush? We're in a good space. Like, what's the rush? I enjoy you. You enjoy me. That kind of thing. Right. Here we have, you are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish, anything. So speak it into existence, Aquarius, speak it into existence. And that's anything you wish. There are going to be some people who are going to get quite frustrated because you're not desperate to be in a relationship. You're not desperate for anything, really. Right. Everything you're asking source for source is providing that to you. So yeah, sweet treat. That's how people look at you. They're like, where has Aquarius been all my life? Just where you know that you were being developed. You know that you were being developed and being prepared for this, uh, the humanitarian that you are. Emotions are running high. Yes. Yes, emotions are running high. There's a lot of people who won't be able to contain it. I'm serious. And I'm not trying to boost anybody's ego, Aquarius, for real. There won't be some people who won't, they won't be able to contain how they really feel about you. But see, they don't know what you had to leave behind to become who you are today. You had to leave those ideas that your family planted in your mind behind. 
don't bring this kind of person home. Don't bring that kind of person home. We don't have that kind of mess in our family. Well, you know good and well, you did have that kind of mess in your family, that kind of, whatever it was. You had to leave a lot of things behind to be who you are today. And because you're so self-assured, this is not cockiness or arrogance. Because you are so self-assured, because your, your self-esteem is intact, that's what a lot of people are drawn. So I don't want anybody to get it confused. When people are attracted to your energy, you could be walking down the street. People may want to smile at you. They want to ask you your name. They want to touch you. They want to be in your space. Protect your energy, Aquarius. Protect your energy. Just protect your energy. That is what I have for you again. Happy Monday and happy Mercury entering Taurus on today. Uh, and like I said, Mars enters Aries on tomorrow. So Mars is the planet of your energy, your libido, your will, your sexual desires, your romantic attraction, your creative drive. So now it makes sense, right? Why so many people are going to be looking at you like, oh my God, I really wish I had that person in my life. But they don't know your story and where you came from, but you don't have to share that with them either if you don't feel like an Aquarius if you desire to be in a relationship, please, 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 Aquarius, take your time because I'm trying to tell you what their first, their spirit is first interested in your healing energy, right? And so you've had enough charity cases in the past to, to be wise enough to not take on any more charity cases and somebody who is just in your life to see what they can get from you, that healing, and then get the healing and run. They have to be vetted. They have to be vetted. Okay, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. And stay aligned. Stay aligned. That's what I have for you. I'll see you on in a couple of days. Bye.